After a pandemic 2020, 2021 looks to be a race rebuilding year as venues begin to open and schedules get set, only for sadness to fall on our PWC community with the loss of our shining senior star, Nedra Atwood. We bring you the Hydrature Best in the West series presented by Hot Products and the Nedra Atwood Memorial Race. Please remove your hats and please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Campbell from Lake Havasu City. I am here at Parker at the La Paz Campground. We're enjoying the racing today. The hitch hauler is very easy to install. It takes just a few seconds. I spend a lot of time loading and unloading my stuff by myself, and it works out just great. I have a rolling rack that goes right up to it, and I don't have to ask anybody for help, so I get to keep all my friends like that. The hitch hauler is very versatile. Got a receiver on the back where I can hook up my regular jet ski trailer, and so now I can carry around three skis on my trailer, one on the hauler, and a, one or two in the back of my truck, but I guess I gotta buy another jet ski. Huh? It's time for Ski Amateur Vet Lights on the line on the number three out of Lake Forest, California. It's Harry Gocher hauling Harry's back. On the number 10 out of Costa Mesa, California, Ron Kirkus. Brand number 51, it's James Gein out of Laguna Niguel with Taylor Curtis on the 155 out of Lake Havasu. Also out of Lake Havasu, it's Kerry Mulvey on the 218, 365 of Dwayne Brascom at Lake Havasu, and Mark Conroy out of Phoenix, Arizona on the 913. <laughs> As we take a look out to the band snap there, it looks like Taylor Curtis jumping out to an early lead on the 155 TC free ride machine. Looking good on that super jet. Looks like Dwayne Bascom on the outside. So it's gonna be Taylor Curtis, Dwayne Bascom. Trying to get a shot there. I see Gocher in fourth place. Taking a look as they move the way to the left side of the track, yeah, trying to get in. that lap number one in the books yeah, yeah. here. Got me all scared, dude. I freaked out for a second. Y'all ready for 200 pounds of big sex to come crashing down on you? Because he'll get Curtis, Bascom. Not quite. Great shot of Dwayne Bascom in 365. Taylor Curtis out front, coming off the back stretch. There's Harry Gocher on the number three pro watercraft machine. Bomber eyewear, jet trim. And look at this, Curtis just hooking up 
down that back straightaway. He has got that machine dialed in. Big overall winner on Saturday, round one of this series. Looking to put another back-to-back, -back, sweep the weekend. Baskin working his way through the right side, Serpentini. Saw Gocher, looks like trying to see third place there. That Oh, that's Mark Conroy in the 913. Should have recognized that machine. Conroy out of Phoenix and the Firebird AC Commander. He's always got that stars and bars. Harry running the all red machine. There's the 51 of James Dean. Dean coming out of Lake Hat, I'm sorry, out of Laguna Niguel, running for Moto Market Company and Circuit Jet Sports. But it's Curtis still out front. DC Free Ride, if you still see Mark Conroy coming off that back stretch. So oh, I have a little bit of problem here, uh, sitting that week. Gocher, ooh, hitting a bad wake. Trying to recover, looks like he's going there. There's Bascom. Conroy. And Gocher. Man, Taylor Curtis just flying out there. Curtis sponsored by TC Freeride, Jet Pilot, Hydro Turf, and Works Racing. Riding his Yamaha Super Jet. Once again, this is the Vet Lights class, over 30 years old. Oh no, looks like Baskin down. That's gonna put Conroy up in the second place. Gocher's gonna move into third. Yeah, it looks like Kerry Mulvey on the 218. She's on a super jet. A couple of Kawasaki 800s. There's Ron Kirkus on the Lona boat from his brother Scott. Having a good time. Yeah, look at this. Curtis about ready to lap some riders here in this field in this moto. Well, you can see the advantages of living in Lake Havasu, riding almost every single day out there. It's like putting your shoes on in the morning. It looks that comfortable. And there he goes by Ron Kirkus, putting him a lap down. So he comes off the back straight here, favoring that inside split. Seems to be working for him. And there's the win, Taylor Curtis. He will sweep Moto2. So it looks like it's gonna be Gocher, Conroy, and Taylor Curtis taking the win. It's time to move it on here to run about novice stock and run about pro am stock. And the novice stock, it's going to be Owen Fust on the number one out of Huntington Beach, California. Jamie Hankins on the 311 coming to us from Lake Havasu City, Arizona. In the run around pro am stock, it's 23 David Palmer at a Huntington Beach Hickey Speed Machine. And it looks like it's going to be David Palmer with the whole shot. And just like that, seeing the green flag. Bomber ran for Hickey Speed, High Vibe TV, Reva Racing, Leo King Racing, IPD Graphics. There's the 311 of Jamie Hankins out of Lake Havasu. Owen Fost on the number one. But Palmer, quick. Smooth and out front, and that's what you want to be. 
Laying another lap down. David Palmer uh, out front there. There's a Owen Fust once again out of Huntington on that CD Spark. Back up to our leader. Palmer, a uh, social media star running High Five TV. The Leo King Racing, IPD Graphics, Reva Racing. And you can see with these high speed of this pro -Am stock division here, those Yamahas are just out of the box are quick, as well as any production runabout nowadays. Speeds up to 70 miles an hour. And a lot faster with just a few modifications. We saw Fuss back up front with Palmer again. Seem to be in the stars for Palmer out front. There's Jamie Hankins on the Sea Dew. The 311 machine. Jamie out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Back to Fust out of Surf City, Huntington Beach, California. Monster energy on the side of that machine there. Couple laps to go here for David Palmer in the Runabout Pro Am Stock Division. Back out to our leader in the Runabout Novice Stock, Jamie Hankins on the 311. Back out to Fust out of Huntington, the number one machine coming out the back straight. Choosing that outside option here. Palmer, liking that inside split. Pushing that buoy out of the way. Making sure he's hitting all of his marks here. So I'll give that little look over the tower there. Hankins, through the right side of the course. He's gonna come out the inside split. Looking quick and smooth there. And it looks like Palmer getting by Fuss there. Been Fuss down a lap overall, but uh, still sitting second in his class. And there it is, the checkered flag comes out for David Palmer, the Liu King, taking the win. And it looks like Hankins, then Fuss, and the what about Novice Stock. It's time for the Yamaha Four Stroke Lights. Out of Willowmar, California, driving, riding the number 17, it's Dylan Dutemple. On the 27, coming from Lake Havasu City, Arizona, Sebastian Garello. On the 38, from Lake Havasu, Tyler Ward. On the 88, also out of Lake Havasu, Arizona, Jake Pierce. On the 101, from Las Vegas, Nevada, Steve Fitzen. And the 141, Reese Geis, out of Scottsdale, Arizona. 155 is gonna be Coy Curtis, out of Lake Havasu City. And also at Lake Havasu, the 243 of Carson. <laughs> Off and running, looks like Coy Curtis with the whole shot. The 155 machine. You know, they've done a lot of work dialing that in, that new super jet. And it looks to be performing phenomenal. There's Jake Pierce on the 88 machine. 
Always a fast young rider. All these kids are fast. Curtis on the back straighter. He looks over his right shoulder to see where the competition there. Jake Pierce, the 88 in tow. And it looks like Gorello on the 27. Still trying to chase them down in that third position. Back up to second place there with Jake Pierce. Man, these kids looking super big. These new super jets look good. Nice style there from Coy as well as Jake and Sebastian. These kids ride a lot together. Looks like Reese Geist back there in fourth place. Spent a lot of their days at Body Beach. Gorello looks over his shoulder, sees who's going to fight him for that podium position. But it's Pierce in second. He's still got to worry about, as well as Coy Curtis out front. Curtis on to the front straight away. You see a little sly look over the right side again, seeing where the competition is. Gorello. And something happened to Jake Pierce, because it looks like he dropped back to third place. Reese Geist now still in the fourth position. I do believe that pass could have happened during that split. A little mistake by Jake and lost his momentum, allowing Gorello to catch back up and pass him. And it looks like Dylan Dutemple, the 38 of Tyler Ward. Coy Curtis. And oh, my mistake. Pierce still there. I guess I didn't realize the gap was so big between him and Gorello. His camera panned back. I thought he got by, but no. Pierce still running in second. Gorello in third. Pierce having one heck of a race. He actually has gapped Gorello just a little bit. Pierce on a mission. We talk about mission, the young man up front, Coy Curtis, on that TC free ride, machine, jet pilot, hard to turf, works racing, 16 helmets, and Frederico Demolition. Jake Pierce, sponsored by Pro Watercraft and CM CSM Racing. And Gorello on the Go Fast US, Pelosian, Jet Trim, Quakey Sense, Motul, Bell Helmets, Scott H2O Works Design, UP Concepts, OGO on the gas, and Gasket Technologies. And there's Reese Geist, the 141. She rides from uh, for Scottsdale Cycle Center. Her dad, Troy Lee Designs. Ultimate Watercraft Performance, Jet Pilot, Jet Trim. Curtis giving a long look going, hey, Jake's right there. I make a mistake, it could change everything. You can see him switching feet, setting up for that right-hander. Puts that right foot forward, keeps in that booty to the backside. The swap feet again for the left-hander, keeping it to his backside. You can see his whole body, as well as Jake's, will stay off to the side of the ski there. Their feet trying to keep that boat a little flatter. Not so much on the rail. Boats tend to turn a little flatter than the old school boats. Man, that is on rails. I definitely got that machine hooked up. Just staying glued to the water. So tries to chase down Coy Curtis. Checker flag comes out. Coy Curtis going to take the win. How about that? Jake Pierce 
in second place. And Sebastian Guerrero, he's going to hold on to third here in moto number two. It's time for the Ski Novice Stock 1500. It's on the number eight out of Temecula, California. It's Colin Brenner. On the number 11 out of St. George, Utah, Sam Salisbury. Out of San Clemente, California, on the 156, Jonathan Levy. On the 209 out of Chino, Jacob Frewing. Deacon Palmer is going to be on the 427 out of St. George, Utah. Kyle Gifford on the 453 out of Las Vegas, Nevada, with Logan Blanchard out of Lake Havasu City on the 492. 511, Jacob Lou out of Fresno. Nick Giles out of Alpine, California, on the 521. And the 939 of Darren Schneider out of El and with the down snap, it looks like it's going to be Renner out front on the number eight as he cuts off to the inside. Oh, actually, it looks like he's going outside split coming around so it's going to be Renner with the whole shot couldn't quite see the numbers there I knew that was Jonathan Levy in third place see those infamous white sleeves it is I'm trying to get a read after Renner Renner Easy spot in the blue and black, number eight. As all the riders move to the right side of the course here, Renner's going to come on to the front straight. Renner riding for Rivera Racing, Jet Trim, Pro Watercraft Racing, Jet Renew, Ross Products, Stroke Industries, Aqua Nuts, Bomber Eyewear, Slippery Wet Seats, and IPD Graphics. Well, I know I saw Darren Schneider go by. You can't miss that yellow and black machine. It's nice when they uh, go away from the stock paint scheme, easy to identify. I think I see Jacob Frewing in there, the 209. So we go back up front with Renner, followed by Fruing on the 209. And oh no, it looks like Fruing goes down on the inside split. Still trying to get it back in the ski here, and I don't know if he's going to hold on to his position. He's going to make a mad dash. It's going to be close here. Jonathan Levy gets by him on the 156 machine. Brewing falls back to third. There's Darren Schneider, 939. See that yellow and black, you can't miss. Nick Giles on the 521, blue and black machine. Back up front with our leader, Colin Renner. 
Calling out to Mecula, California. We pan to the left side here to Renner once again. Frewing looks like he's uh, got his position back. Levy's going to back to third. Good shot of Nick Giles with 521. Nick rides for 110 Racing by Aaron Crest, John Pham, River Dad, GC Racing, Pro Watercraft Racing. Courtesy markers are out halfway there, halfway home. Here in race number four, here motor number two, ski novice stock 1500. Looks like Logan Blanchard on the 492. Trying to chase down John Levy. October 3rd through 9th. As they go, Levy holds on to that position. Blanchard still back in fourth place. Schneider. For this class, yeah. For the pro am classes, yeah. Yeah, it looks like we're like watching the battle for third right for this now. This yeah, Number 11 is Sam Salisbury. There's the 511 of Jacob Liu. Jacob coming all the way from Northern California from Fresno. Yeah! Levy trying to hold off the advances of the youngster. Logan Blanchard on the 492. There's Jacob Frewing. Back to the 492, Logan Blanchard, is, he works on Levy. Levy comes off that outside split using his momentum. Back up to our leader, Colin Renner. On his Kawasaki SXR 1500. Looks like the micro missile is coming up to the line for the next race here. And there's the white flag for Renner. Renner down the left side, throwing, making his way into the front side, uh, front side of the track. Past the stripe on the left side. 453 of Kyle Gickford out of Las Vegas. Goes by as we watch Renner on the back stretch. Getting ready for that right hand turn as he throws that right foot forward. One more turn and a checkered flag in this young man's future. Colin Renner on the Revere Racing Jet Trend Pro Watercraft Racing Jet Renewed Ross Product takes the win. 209 of Jacob Firming out of Chino, California. It's going to wrap up that second position here. As we see uh, some of the lap riders, Jacob Firming coming in there. Jacob Blue, and then there's Firming, second place. And John Levy, gonna wrap out that uh, third spot here in motor number two. Campbell from Lake Havasu City. I am here at Parker at the La Paz Campground. We're enjoying the racing today. The 
Air Trawler is very easy to install. It takes just a few seconds. I spend a lot of time loading and unloading my stuff by myself, and it works out just great. I have a rolling rack that it goes right up to it, and I don't have to ask anybody for help, so I get to keep all my friends like that. The hitch hauler is very versatile. Got a receiver on the back where I can hook up my regular jet ski trailer, and so now I can carry around three skis on my trailer, one on the hauler, and a, one or two in the back of my truck, but I guess I gotta buy another jet ski. Huh? It's time for Vintage X2 Open on the X22. It's Guy Vinatieri out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Ian Sir is going to be on the number five out of Canyon Lake, California. Brian, the number 17 is Joe Henderson out of Menifee, California with the 67 of William Hargrave out of San Pedro, California. 109, Charles Sims out of Lake Elsinore, California. Jason Triss will be on the 155 out of Escondido, California. 161, Dylan Hemberg out of Canyon Lake, California. Coming to us from Lake Havasu City, Arizona, 223. Louis Vendito on the 313 is Dennis Pontaine out of Lake Cavasu City, Arizona, and Chris Denbach on the 630 out of Lake Cavasu City, Arizona. As we go overhead here with the start of the race, and it looks to be, I believe, the X-22, Guy Venturi, Vinatieri's going to jump out front and take that whole shot. We'll get some riders as they come around, get some numbers. Boy, it is rough. They are popping off the top here as so they get a great overhead shot there as they serpentine their way on the left side of the race course. Vinatieri out front because it was from Lake Havasu City, Arizona. About a 30 minute drive here from Parker. Oh no, gets off to the side. Able to hang on there and maintain that lead. See, it's just choppy in our area there. Great static shot. You see the way the course develops there and you get down and you get to see how rough it is. There's the 109 of Charles Sims. Looks like he's in the second place there behind Vinny Terry. There's the 5X Ian Sirs on the Jackson J Rod Lona Boat program. As we follow Charles Sims there. The 109 with his retro flame job there, looking good. Vinatieri though, he is just hauling the mail. Kind of like a stand-up, you can see him setting up for that right-hand turn when he puts that right foot forward. Believe it or not, they believe these are technically a two-seater boat, but uh, not much room on there if you're gonna go for a wreck ride that make a great little race boat. Fun river cruiser. Back to Sims. And it looks like, uh, I believe the 223, Louis, Louis Benedito, out of Lake Havasu. Louis riding for Fly Racing, Blosion, Jet Pilot, Pro Minecraft, Jet Trim, WPS, OGO, IPD Graphics, Stock Artists, ODI, ODI Goggle, ODI Grips. So we follow him around the course there. See him using those legs like shock observers, trying to keep that boat hooked up. And oh, um, gotta wonder if that boat wake uh, was a little bit of a problem there as we saw overhead. 
Saw the wake and threw off there. Ian Sears back up to Guy Vinatieri. Starting to work on some lap traffic right now. That, of course, being Ian Sears on the five machine. Paul Pistoni stoically looking at the track as they go by, reminiscing the early days of his racing career. Takes a lot of balance, just like riding a stand-up, these things are. Charles Sims, the 109. Charles, out of Lake Elsinore, California, riding for Jet Tribe, C-57 Racing, and Pros, Bomber Eyewear. Great overhead shot there, showing the layout of the track. Boy, Guy is just, just eating up that competition out there. As he starts to pick them off. Guy, of course, coming from Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Probably spends a lot of time Riding the booty course over a body beat, getting a lot of practice in there. There's the 161 of Dylan Hembort at Academy Lake, California. BJ's performance. Straight edge custom painting. There's Stenbach on the 630 at Lake Havasu. C57RacingProducts.com. Vinatieri knocking those laps down like a champ right now. And there's the white flag. One more lap to go here. Charles Sims, though, looks like he's starting to pull him in just a little bit. Not a lot of time left. As we see a great run overhead here. You can see how the riders are all spaced out. Vinatieri and Sims on their last lap here, the final lap here in motor number two for the Vintage X2 Open. The rest of the fields you see still receiving the white flag. Lena Terra, Terry, coming out the back stretch. Checker flag will be coming out for him. And there it is. Lena Terry takes the win. Charles Sim comes across in second. I see Sears, but I'm going to have to let them uh, figure this out in timing and scoring here. I do believe he was down a lap there. That's going to finish it up here. So we're going to get to it. Pro Rider Watercraft Magazine. The premier print and digital publication for personal watercraft enthusiasts delivers up-to-date content from manufacturers and aftermarket pioneers and features racing, recreational riding, PwC fishing, tech tips, youth highlights, product reviews, freestyle, and more. Whether an industry representative, recreational rider, competitor, or a weekend warrior, Pro Rider Watercraft Magazine offers fresh insight on what's happening in the most exciting water sport on the planet. Subscribe and follow for a Rider Watercraft Magazine on Instagram and Facebook. Time for Junior Ski 10 to 12 Lights on the number 12 out of Redland, California, it's Tanner Haig. On the 17, out of Chula Vista, California, Sebastian Roman. On the 26, it's Bryce Chambers out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. 
On the 103, it's Annabella Roman out of Chula Vista, California. On the 409, Ashley King out of Lake Avenue. Brody King's out on the 411, also out of Lake Avenue. Ty Smith on the 515 out of Lake Avenue City, as well as the 555 of Maddox Haynes and the 770 of Mason Haynes. As Pistoni looks down the line, you'll notice that uh, some have two holders. Riders are already in the trades because they're little guys. Can't quite reach the ground there and get into the ski quickly. Help out. Looks like the 411 Brody King with the whole shot to the inside. So we get a shot who's going to be on the outside here, but it's going to be King. They'll come on to the front straight here. Green flag is out. They like what they see. Trying to get a shot there to see the green helmet. And fortunately, a couple of them are green right there in a row. So we'll just follow them around. We know the 411 is out front right now leading. There's King getting low in the tray there. He doesn't have far to go to get low, but you can see his legs working there as shock absorbers trying to suck up those bumps down that back straightaway. I don't even know if the ski knows these little guys are on them. They're so light. So it is the triple nickel there, Maddox Haynes. Looks like he's in second place behind King. Maddox Haynes comes from Lake Havasu City. Riding for TC Free Ride, Works Racing, and Jet Trim. King is also out of Lake Havasu. Riding for TC Free Ride, Jet Trim Works, and Pro Watercraft. As we see Haynes in pursuit of King. There's the number 17, Sebastian Roman. He's out of Chula Vista, California, riding for Next Generation Racing. And how true is that? This is the Next Generation Racing. I know I mentioned Pro Watercraft a little bit earlier, and I know Chris Haggis, a uh, big proponent of the Junior Star programs, which these kids are all graduates of over the years. Most of them really getting to meet the pros and uh, spend some time and learn some things. And lucky ones that live in Lake Havasu, like King, ride Body Beach all the time. There's Taylor Curtis cheering on his rider. I know that uh, Taylor works with a lot of these youngsters also helping them out, the TC Free Ride guys. Of course, his son, Koi, one of the young riders that's been going through the Junior Star program over the years. We look back up front here with the 411, Brody King, still in command. 555 and Maddox Haynes. Trying to run them down. Great drone shot overhead there. You see our leaders coming across their second place. Triple nickel, Maddox Haynes. Just a beautiful shot to sit back and look at. Great shot there again of Maddox Haynes, the 555 machine. Oh, it looks like uh, Maddox is now the new leader. It looks like he got by the 411 of Brody King. Didn't quite catch that.
So Brody King in the 4'11". He's going to come by here one more time. There's the 26, Bryce Chambers. Seven seventy, that's Mason Haynes. Both Maddox and Mason on the TC Free Ride Works Racing Jet Trim program. The four oh nine of Ashland King out of Lake Havasu. So it looks like we got a couple of pair of siblings out there racing today. Brother, sister, a couple of brothers. So awesome to see. And there's the checkered flag. That's going to be the triple nickel there. Maddox Haynes takes the win. 411 looks like the 103 that was down a lap there. But it's going to be Haynes, King. And they'll figure out the rest here in motor number two. thin glove, not sacrifice that with a bunch of padding that wrinkles up in my hands, causes blisters and calluses. The stitching and the quality of the stitching in this area where I spend a lot of time squeezing the boat, there's just enough here to give me a solid grip on the boat, a solid feel for the throttle. That to me is the part that sets them apart from the other gloves I've worn so far. It's time for Ski Pro-Am 2 Stroke GP, Ski Master GP, Ski Am Vet GP, and Ski Expert GP. All combined, Mitch Dorica is going to be on the number six out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. 62, Matt Ligurski out of Flagstaff, Arizona. The 66, PL Rusty Wilson out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. JB Gasparoni on the 91 out of Flagstaff, Arizona. 169, of Sean K. Mata out of Diamond Bar, California. 797, Joel Cleveland out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Ricky Treviso out of El Paso, Texas on the 936. 23, River Varner on Riverside, California. Cooper Sheck Snyder on the 28th of Asperia, California. And Peyton Hill on the 48th out of East Vale, California. <laughs> and off and running. And it looks to be the 76 there. Who we missed there is Jack Briscoe. And they got Jake Pierce in the 88, the 209, and Jacob Fruin out of the mix. We saw Jake Pierce on that line being a shirt, but it's Briscoe with the whole shot. Green flag is waving here. Looks like they like this start. Jack Briscoe, out of Harriman, Utah. He's riding for Commander Industries, IPD, Jeb Rhino Power, C4 Performance. Man, he better not look back because he's got a fast movers behind him. There's Jake Pierce on a pro force. And let's see who's right behind him. There's Luca Treviso, also on a pro force. See Peyton Hill in the 48, he's on a pro force. A couple commanders, a couple pro forces, all mixing it up here. See some bullet holes out there also, as well as uh, Factory Kawasaki. So Briscoe on the 76. 
And there's Cooper Sheck Snyder. He's also on a commander ski on the 28. Jake Pierce right there, though. He's right on their heels, clipping. Cooper Sheck Snyder down the back straightaway. Boy, it has gotten rough out there. Briscoe out front. Look at him keep that ski hooked up. Getting low in the tray, trying to suck up those. Oh, bad bump. Nice recovery. Sheck Snyder right on his heels here. Sheck Snyder's going to go for the outside split. Pierce as well for the outside split. Briscoe looks over his left shoulder to see. Cooper's right down his back door. Looking to get on that porch and just kick that door down. Pierce, great shot there. You can see how close Pierce is now to Cooper Sheck Snyder. Briscoe pulling away just a little bit. So we had a rider down there, but Cooper Sheck Snyder was very quick on the left side. He was catching up to Briscoe, but Briscoe just flies down that back straightaway. There's Gasparoni on one of those bullet racing holes. Jack Briscoe out front on the Commander Industries IPD Jet Pilot Rhino Power C4 Performance. Jake Pierce on that Pro Watercraft CSM Racing Pro Force. Trying to catch that second place rider there, Cooper Sheck Snyder. Cooper is on a Commander Ski also. He's out of Spirit of California, riding for mom and dad. IPD Graphics and of course Commander Industries. Look at that, top three on the back straightaway. You can pull a rule around, they were equally spaced. Oh, look at this, Jake Pierce found a handful trying to catch up to Sheck Snyder. Gasparoni on that bullet racing, 91. Cooper Sheck Snyder, former motocross racer, turned watercraft racer, and Jake Pierce, just a young phenom on that Lime Green Pro Force Machine. Oh, look at this. He's on his back deck. He's going to kick that door down. Oh, man. Cooper Sheck Snyder. Beautiful move. A little bit of bobble. Found that hole there. Getting a little rough on that back straight. Let's see if that Pro Force can catch the commander on the back straight. He showed a lot of speed this last lap. Lap traffic. He actually had to change his lineup a little bit. Boy, this is keeping an eye on the battle for second. Briscoe still out front. Oh, boy, it was a little close this time. Sheck Snyder went to the outside split, Pierce to the inside. Oh, he's close enough to touch the back of his ski a few times. Sheck Snyder, though. Great ride by him. Great lines. Pierce was an incredible ride. It's going to be interesting. We got some lap, tra lap traffic there. Hill, the 48. Gasparoni. Satra Vizo, that all orange Pro Force. Pierce, just about the same every time, comes out on Cooper Sheck Snyder. This could change something with the lap traffic now. As they head to the left side of the track, it's going to get rough. Looks like rush hour out there. Sheck Snyder able to get by one of the riders. Oh, Gasparoni giving him a handful. 
And that's our leader, Briscoe, now. Trying to fight his way through those lap, lap traffic riders. And there's a checkered flag. It's going to be Jack Briscoe. He knows it, man. He well deserved. That was a fist pump that he earned. So Briscoe takes the win here in motor number two. And it looks like it was going to be Cooper Sheck Snyder and Jake Pierce running out. Motor number two. best cost-effective ways to get into jet skiing is to simply get a Kawasaki 550 or a 440. A great way to make it better and a little more rideable is stuff like our rear sponsor, our front sponsor, the ride plate. You can even style it up with one of our handle poles or even the hood. This is just a great cost-effective way to enjoy jet skiing. Vintage 550 ski on the line now. Number nine is going to be Jeremiah Marino out of Lakeside, California. Blake Cass will be on the 62 out of Huntington Beach. Rachel Cummings on the 95 out of Hawthorne. On the 118, it's Dan Fitzgerald out of Silmar, California. On the 155, Corey Curtis out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. On the 476, Andrew Sassir out of Hawthorne, California. And Dylan Ulrich on the 954 out of East Vale, California. And two cards in the air as Pistoni looks down the line and off and running they go. Once again, vintage 550 ski. You are not in a time warp. Just a very popular class has come back here. Big resurgence of all the vintage classes. Great way, an economical way to get back into racing. And it looks like it's gonna be Corey Curtis. Andrew Sassir, and Dan Fitzgerald, the top three as they come across. Beautiful overhead shot there. As these vintage 550 skis going around, you can actually see from the wake, the course design there. Yeah. And you just see how clear that Colorado River water is, you can see through it and see the bottom as we go back up to Coy Curtis on the 155 TC Freeride Machine, Jet Pilot Hydro Turf, Works Racing 60 Helmets, and Frederico Demolition. Andrew Sassir on the 476. Watched Andrew grew up to the sport and uh, I believe he's an aviation mechanic now, so it's great to see you. Young man finding time still to come out and play and race and have a good time with his new career. There's the 62 of Lake Cass out of Huntington Beach, California. Rachel Cummings on the 95. She's out of Hawthorne, California. There was Curtis out front as we go overhead once again. Really doesn't show how rough it is until you get that low shot from the camera and see these guys working so hard. You really see that it's not really a true back straight with a little bit of bend in it. Kind of like a kidney bean. Andrew Sassir. Oh, 
There's 118. And Dan Fitzgerald. And the Jet World Power 550. You're up near the Silmar area, up in, uh, above LA, near the 118 freeway. As we go back up to the 155 of Quake Curtis. There's Curtis out front as we go over the head once again. You can look at the side of that machine there and you can see with the sponsons and the rear lifter sponsons on there really makes these new, these 550s handle like a newer ski. It's really made them fun for a lot of people again. I think that's caused such a resurgence. And you know, Pro Watercraft makes all those parts. The 550 not even knowing that Clay Curtis is on its back. Looks like it definitely got the remote control on the beach. Shot there, Rachel, in the 95, Rachel Cummings. I think he's let off that throttle once. He is just pinned. So many modifications in doing these skis now to make a run. You can see an afternoon handle pole there. Really makes a difference as well as the front sponsors, rear lifter sponsor, sponsors there. Ride plates, scoop rates. Andrews is here and there. Second place. We saw our leader, Coy Curtis, still out front. Do you believe the youngest of all these riders out here leading the class? It's going to be scary a couple of years when Corey gets up and starts running with the pros. They might be uh, in for a rude awakening. Dan Fitzgerald, one of our more seasoned riders out there. One of the guys that uh, toured around the country in many years, the IGSBA National Tour. Another great overhead shot there. The rider serpentine out the left side to the back section. And there's Jagger Frog. Quick Root is going to take the win here. 476 of Andrew Sassir. He's going to be running it in here. For that second spot. And it looks like I believe it's going to be Dan Fitzgerald. Unfortunately, uh, Rachel down a few positions there as we get a shot of her coming across. But there it is, second place. Anderson is here. You can see how Coy literally just ran away with this one. And then Dan Fitzgerald will round out that third position here in moto number two.
It's time for our Amateur Vet Ski Stock 1500 on the number 20. It's going to be Eric Swick out of San Diego, California. On the number 164, Jay Hobson out of Carlsbad, California. The 258 is going to be Josh West coming to us from Temecula, California. David Superian on the 508 out of Tucson, Arizona. On the 939, Darren Schneider out of El Cajon, California. <laughs> With the band snap, and it looks like it's going to be Superior with the whole shot. A couple of riders getting pushed out there a little wide. Looks like, I believe that was uh, Jay Hobson and Josh West, but it's Superior on the 508 to the inside split. He's going to get the whole shot. Looks like Swick on the 20 on the outside, so he'll be in second place behind Superior. And looks like, we've Josh West sneaking into that third spot with Schneider behind him. So there's second place, Schwick. Trying to chase down our leader, the 508, David Superian. Swick there second, then the 508 there, Zipperian. Zipperian riding for Go Fast US, destination hydration. Eric Swick just out of San Diego, sponsored by his wallet. Trying to get a read here in the rest of the field as they go by. It looks like the 164 there, Jay Hobson out of Carlsbad, California, goes by. Siberian and Swick. One and two still. Trying to get a read on third place. Not sure if Darren Schneider is in there, I do believe, or Josh West. We'll try and get a read on their numbers when they come by. Superior and Swick in a race of their own right now. They could get into some lap traffic here before this race is over. There's Schneider. So Schneider in that third position. Schneider on the 939, the maximum oil. There's Josh West, right behind him in fourth, the 258. And that'll leave Jay Hobson behind him. Schneider with the shreddy on the front there. Swick, digging deep. Bob Estonia. Checking out the action there as Swick gets by some lap traffic there. Well, pretty much saw that come in there with Superior and Swick with their blistering pace. Starting to move up through the rest of the competitors here. There's Schneider. Looking good in that wrap, the uh, black and yellow, the black and gold, if you want to call it. Sweat with the OEM, Kawasaki graphics still running. Sharp looking boat. So, I have, I Saw really Schneider go by. Swift 
to make you that little look. He's not sure where anybody is right now, I think. Is him and Zabirian checked out. Oh, problem with Zapirians. That's going to put what? Swick in the lead now. Didn't even catch that. Looks over the tower to see where he's at with a white flag there. Boy, a very dejected David Zapirian there. Give him a little head shake. Schneider in third. So it's Eric Swick out front now. David Zapirian in second. And Darren Schneider into third. Or still holding on to third, I should say. Swix is going to survive this last time around. In fact, he's still throwing that back uh, foot out there to stabilize himself. He almost lost it there. Superior, it looks rough down that back section. Boat traffic, little wind. Skis racing. And the checkered flag is going to come out. Eric Swick. Superior will come across in second. And on paper, it looks like it's going to be Schneider coming around here. And they're going to have to get the combination of uh, motor one and two to get the overall here. Back up on the line. On the number one is going to be Meg Conroy out of Phoenix, Arizona. 23 is going to be Tony Parker out of San Diego, California. Out of Harriman, Utah, it's going to be Hunter Dunn on the 99. On the 111 as Annie Sims out of Lake Elsinore, California. With Danette Sanchez in the 168 out of Lake Havasu. 169, Ronnie Parker out of Reno, Nevada. And Ryder Wildebar on the 888 out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Living part-time in Lake Havasu City, Arizona now. And off and running, it looks like it's gonna be Ryder Wildebar, the triple eights. Out front, new class for him. Could be a precursor to getting ready to set up to run on the world stage in the IGSBA World Finals. This would give him a qualification in there. Hunter Dunn on the 99. Annie Sims on the 111 in third. Ryder, ride your TC free ride, Barrel House, John Hill House, Mom and Dad, Clipper. Hunter Dunn, riding for Mom and Dad. Fly Racing, Jet Trim, Jet Pilot, Fly Racing, GC Racing, and High Speed Industries. And Annie Sims, riding for Jet Tribe, C57 Racing, Impros, and Bomber Eyewear. As we see the 99 of Hunter Dunn, looks like a rider down there that they're attending to, the two course marshals. Saw a local yellow caution out.
Yeah, what a bummer. Down there in the water. Trying to read the number. I couldn't get any read there. This is 111 there, Andy Sims. So she really doesn't have the traditional, you know, stand-up style, sits down, but she is a fast lady. And actually now a grandmother. So it's amazing to see though this lady still out there seeing podiums, racing on her Yamaha. President Charles Sims, see him in the X2 class and see him running in the uh, stand-up classes also. They truly love the sport. And he's a school teacher by trade. Do you believe uh, retiring this year? So, hopefully, spend some more time in the water and having fun. Here's Hunter Dunn. I know he was working for PCI Race Radios for a while, and he talked about he's going up to be a lineman, I believe. So, going to lineman school. Right of World War. Young man, still got many years to think about what he's going to do, but uh, it's looking like a professional jet ski racer is going to be part of that. Meg Conroy. Ride a little more once again with Triple Eights. We see Meg Conway out of Phoenix, Arizona, riding the mom and dad, Firebird, Ace Commander, Industries, and Risen Wild. Do you believe in the attrition affecting our field here? A couple of riders uh, missing from our view here. There's Nanette Sanchez. Nanette riding for LG1 Designs. Charger Sanchez, mom and dad. Ride at Willowbar. Just running away with this one. Hunter done looking good. There in second place, looking to see where the rest of the competition is. So he comes onto the front straight. Uh oh, two laps to go. So he slowed down just a little bit there. He might have some competition here behind him. There he goes. Looks like he took a breather for a second. Some lap traffic right now. Looks like Sanchez. He's going to look for a little clean water here to make a run. Looks like he's going to have some just kind of well line. Jets is you can steam a little bit, but they actually have a shock absorber and not built into the boat. It's a white flag out for the checkered flag. There it is. The triple A, it's right a little bit. Takes the win. I know Hunter Dunn's gonna come across in second. And I do believe behind him is still Andy Sims, even though that Ryder and Hunter. Pulled away from the field quite a bit. Lapping some of the fields there. So that's going to be it.
No, 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 no. My dad's car. He's gonna kill me. How are we gonna compete against Richard when he's running on 20 more horsepower? But once it gets rough out there, it's all rider. You can outride him. Holy Toledo! The crowd is going crazy! It's not over, Billy. It's not over. I'm gonna go take a hot shower, which is like a normal shower, but with me in it. I got nothing. Junior ski, 13 to 15 lights on the line with the 27 of Sebastian Guerrero out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. 38 of Tyler Ward out of Lake Havasu. 55, Patrick Parker out of Galt, California. 68, Rowan Morris out of Laguna Niguel, California. Jack Fischel out of Yorba Linda, California. The 125 of Josh Simon out of Corona, California with the 141 of Reese Geis out of Scottsdale, Arizona. And Dean Duda on the 712 out of Newport Beach, California. <laughs> And it looks like Garello and Duda, one and two so far. And it looks like Fischl on the gray 122 machine there in third. Garello coming off the inside split. Looks like Duda is gonna come off the outside split. Hold on to second there with the 125. See Josh Simon back there in the mix there, but it's Fischl in third. There's the 141 of Reese Geis. Getting mixed in with the rest of the group here. See the 38 of Tyler Ward go by. Second place, Dane Duda on the back stretch. Slight little dot glide left. So it's Sebastian Garello on that Go Fast USA, or US, Erosion, Jet Trim, Quakey Sense, Motul, Bell Helmets, out front. Dane Duda, out of Newport Beach, right for DNC Enterprises, Havasu Air Center, and Hero Industries, and Execu Shed, Execu Shield, sorry. There's the 38 of Tyler Ward out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Jack Fischl on the 122 out of Yorba Linda on the Go Fast US Performance Fiberglass. But our leader still the 27, followed by the 712 of Duda and the 122 of Fischl. Grello on the right side as he serpentines his way around across the stripe again. There was Duda, here comes Fischl in third. The 125 there, Josh Simon in second. I'm sorry, in fourth. Reese Geis in fifth back there on the 141. So it's Gorello, Duda, Fischl, Simon, and Geis, top five. Well, I can tell you those Yamaha Superjets hooked up excellent there down the back stretch. Gorilla really stretching out those legs there. Keeping that one foot in the back, one towards the front. Keeping his backside to the buoy. Duda doing the same. One twenty-five, Josh Simon. Little lap traffic there for Guerrero to negotiate by. Oh, almost a little deep in there. Almost subbed it out, but uh, held it out nicely. Guerrero making his way again to the right side here. Just checking those laps off right now. Oh, 
and problems there for the 68 of Rowan Morris as he gets, goes down and is able to get back up and run again. Fischl, the third place rider. Jack Fischl coming to us from Norval Linda, California. Reese Geis on her Kawasaki. Reese, a uh, really young lady out there. Ryan for Scottsdale Cycle Center. Dad, Traley Designs, Ultimate Watercraft Performance. Jet Pilot, Jet Trim, M Pros, ODI. And uh oh, problem for Gorello. And it looked like he got that buoy okay, but went down right after it. Gorello comes by again. There's Duda. Dane Duda on the 712 at Newport, DMC Enterprises, Havasu Air Center, Hero Industries, ExecuShield. White flag is out. 125, Josh Simon. And here comes Sebastian Garello, the 27. See a little lap traffic there. He's going to negotiate to the outside split. Stay out of the way. Any problems there? And the checkered flag is going to come out for him. Sebastian Gorello takes the win here in motor number two. Should give him the overall, I do believe. Dane Duda, not far behind. He's going to come across in second. And just waiting on the 122, Jack Fischel. Is he going to get it, or is Josh Simon? Simon pulls it out. There's the 55 there, Patrick Parker. And Reese Geis. So problems for Fischl. And he slides back, so Gorilla takes it. Race 13 on the line right now. Ski women stock 1500. On the number 11 is going to be Dakota Salisbury out of St. George, Utah. On the number 24, Cheney Seidenberg out of Huntington Beach, California. Ride the number 28, Mackenzie Shuck Snyder out of Oak Hills, California. 80 is going to be Miss Sean Palmer out of St. George, Utah. The 365 is Stevie Basque out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. 621, that's going to be Becky Powell Cooper out of Colorado Springs. And the triple sevens of Anna Glennon out of Lake Havasu City with the 831 of Ariana Thayer out of Lake Havasu City. And Speaking of Ariana Thayer, she gets the whole shot there. She's going to jump off, go to the inside split. See Anna Glennon out there on the triple sevens. Looks like she's gonna come across in seven, but it's gonna be Ariana Thayer with the whole shot and the lead. Rest of the field receiving the green flag at this point. As the whole class starts to make their way to the left side of the track right now. 
Dariana Thayer on the back stretch, letting this thing open it up. She got nice form there, switching feet. So you put that right foot forward, setting up for that right turn. Put her into the split options again. Anna Glennon's gonna make her appearance there. Ariana Thayer riding for Go Fast US, the Boat Brokers, Liquid Molly, Trent Trim, BP Concepts, One Finger, Hydra Stars, and Red Rocks. There's Anna Glennon with the Pro Watercraft crew. Anna's out of Lake Havasu. She rides for AD Racing, Quakey Sense, Jet Trim, and Boss Man Bill. Which we're gonna read here and a couple of the other riders behind her. Looked like Shaney Seddenberg there on the 24. Right behind her going by. Great shot of Anna. Coming on to the back stretch. Little dog leg left there. She had that perfect position set up. Back up front to our leader, Ariana Thayer. She's gonna come across the stripe one more time. Anna Glennon in tow. There's Shaney Seddenberg on the 24, sitting in third right now. And looks like uh, Shaney riding for Jet Tribe, Jet Trim, IPD Graphics, River Rat Motorsports, Fly Racing. Looks like she had a bad bump, went into the tray, able to get back up. A couple of bad bounces. Oh, nasty wake. It's rough going on to that back section. See Glenn Powell sitting there, looking out there. I know his wife's out there, Becky Powell Cooper. They both come out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, Barista Espresso, Riviera Racing, 321 Kawasaki, Bomber Eyewear. So we see Shaney. There's the 28 there. That is Mackenzie Sheck Snyder out of Oak Hills, riding for that M&M Marine team. A couple more riders still coming by here. Back up to our leader, Ariana Thayer. Nice negotiation of that right turn into a left. You see Anna Glenn in second place, not far behind. Just saw Becky Pal Cooper go by there. Becky on the 621. And look at this, Ariana now starting to catch some of that lap traffic. And Ariana now having to deal with that lap traffic there. Shouldn't be a problem for her. So seeing Stevie Bass come out there in the 365. Dakota Salisbury. She's on the number 11. And it looked like Michon Palmer didn't make the call on the number 80 there. There's Becky Powell Cooper, talked about her earlier. White flag out for our leader, Ayanna Thayer. Anna Glennon's gonna get the white flag as well as the rest of the pack now. Becky, unfortunately, a lap rider between first and second right now. As the white flag waves for the rest of the field as they come by. Waiting on the 831, Ariana Thayer, our leader to come by. And there she is coming off the back stretch, getting ready to come under that right-hander. Probably the fastest section there, but the roughest to boot. These nice Kawasaki SXR 1500s handle it very well there. And there's checkered flag in the win for Ariana Thayer out of Lake Havasu. And that go fast US, the Bow Brokers liquid Molly, Jet Trim, 
BP Concept, One Finger, Hydro Stars and Red Rocks. And Anna Glennon's gonna come across in second. Anna on that Pro Watercraft, ADA Racing, Quakey Sith Gentron, and the Boss Man built. And I do believe we're gonna see some lap riders. There's uh, Mackenzie Sheck Snyder there, but I believe still it's the 24 of Shani Seidenberg who comes across in third. But they all figured out the combination of Moto 1 and 2. Race 14 on the line, now Ski Grandmaster. On the one is Charles Sims out of Lake Elsinore, California. Number 11 is Greg Mata out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Number 40, Bob Hyde out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. 55, the double nickel, Charles Anderson out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Steve Fitzson on the 101 out of Las Vegas, Nevada. And the 621, Glenn Powell out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. And looking down the line, it looks like there's a late entry, 29. I believe that's Marty Wells. It is. Yes, Marty Wells on the line. So a late entry here to the Grand Master Ski Class. The Stoney looking down the line. And they're off and running. Hey, look at that. Bob Hyde and that blue super jet getting a great shot for that one position there. Charles Sims around the outside. Looks like he's going to sweep him around. Well, Charles got a little lost there for a second, but he goes to the outside split. Bob Hyde to the inside split. And here they come together. It's going to be Bob Hyde with the whole shot. Charles Sims going to be in that second spot. Look at that old school super jet putting a spanking on those four strokes. Shows how competitive those skis still are out there. Shot of Taylor Cruz looking stoically out at the line as the riders go by. Bob Hyde on to the back section. Charles Sims in tow. And just for a second, I saw that Marty Wells, I think, believe sitting in third. When he comes back into a shot here, we'll see if we can get it that confirmed or not. Bob Hyde sticking to that inside split. Almost for a split second, he decided to go to the outside one, like in the inside, Charles Sims gonna follow him, as well as the rest of the pack, finding out that is the quicker line. All these riders over the age of 50 years, young. Kind of the senior stars is what old Ned Ratwood used to say. I know she'd be tickled pink watching all her buddies out there racing. And yes, I saw that was Marty Wells back there. So Charles Sims give a little look over his right shoulder at him. Charles riding that new Yamaha four stroke. Actually rides in different divisions normally from the Kawasaki SXR 1500 because this Yamaha is a 1049 motor, a little bit smaller boat. They have their own class now. Charles did a lot of work getting that thing to handle. It looks like it's running good. But man, that old school super jet just putting a spanking on everybody. There's Marty Wells on the 29. So he moves to the left side of the track. Some of these riders in their 60s, so very impressed out there with them. As we have to watch Marty Wells come onto the back stretch. There's Charles Anderson on the double nickel. One of our veteran racers out there and uh, one of the nicest guys in personal watercraft racing out there. But so many people out and young riders. Bob Hyde. 
been around the sport for quite a few years, and uh, great to see him still running out there. So it's still Bob Hyde, Charles Sims, and Marty Wells, the top three. They're all about equally spaced out, one, two, three right now. Tell Bob trying to get low in that tray. Get his center of gravity down. Get off the bat, get that top speed. 701 motor. Two stroke compared to all the 1500 stroke, uh, two star, four stroke motor and a 1049 four stroke of the Yamaha. Six laps make up the distance here once again in race 14. Ski Grandmaster. And it looks like our leaders might start to get into some uh, lap traffic up there as we look at Marty Wells once again in third place. Charles looking at, okay, where's third? I know I'm in second. There, I can see Bob Hyde now, he's thinking. Charles Anderson going by there. And it looks to be, I believe, Bob Hyde took the uh, Moto One win. So with this, it looks like I believe we'll give him the overall here if he stays out front. But Charles Sims trying to say something about that. Well, only one lap to make that decision now if he can get by him, but a lot of water to make up on him. So it's Hyde, Sims, and Wells, the top three as they come by. And uh-oh, Wells goes down. And uh oh, he lost his land here, trying to get that reset. Lost his goggles. So he's got to hang on. See that checker flag? He's still sitting in third. And boy, I can tell you, attrition has affected this field. Started with seven riders. Now it looks like we're down to about four. And there's a checker flag for Bob Hyde. And he goes, good old girl. Old faithful Yamaha Superjet taking the win there. The new Superjet, Charles Sims, going to take second. And it looks to be Marty Wells will hold on for that third spot as Charles Anderson will come by behind him. But there's Marty coming across. And that's the way it's going to wrap it out here for... Moto number two of race 14. I put the GLX helmet on today for the first time ever. I uh, hadn't really had my hands on one before. My initial wow was the weight right out of the box. It just felt nice on my head. Didn't get heavy when it got wet. The field of view when it's on my head and I'm looking out, very good field of vision out of my GLX helmet. I'm racing in the top class most of the time. Skis in my class that go beyond 70 miles an hour. You, you come off the boat at those speeds, the water is gonna hurt your head. So I need something that protects my head potentially from another boat going 70 miles an hour past my head. So in the aspects to safety, the GLX helmet meets my safety expectations.
race 15, ski amateur lights on the line. On the number nine is going to be Deegan Newton out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. The 27, Sebastian Gorillo, also out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. 95, Todd Valentino, also out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And the 155, Corey Curtis, also out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Two cards in the air. You can see Valentino on the 95 on the outside. And off and running. And looks to be Coy Curtis, the 155, with the whole shot. Sebastian Gorillo on the 27, right in tow. Oh, big sub by Coy Curtis. Gorillo is going to go the outside. Newton to the inside. So it's going to be Coy Curtis with the whole shot. Sebastian Gorillo is going to come across there in second. Yeah, it looks like Valentino in tow in that fourth position there. So it's Newton in third, Curtis out front, and Gorillo between them. Once again, a two-stroke super jet, just doing an incredible job. Of course, it's the lights class here. Man, these kids are fast. All these riders coming from Lake Avenue, so I know they spend a lot of time there. Sebastian Garello, his father, uh, Christoph, runs Go Fast US. Of course, Coy Curtis on the TC free ride. His dad is Taylor Curtis. There's Gorello. There's going to be Deegan Newton and Todd Valentino. There's Gorello on the Go Fast US Blosion, Jet Trim, Quakey Sets, Motul, Bell Helmet, Scott, H2O Works Design, BP Concepts, Gasket Technology on the Gas and OGO. All of his sponsors making this happen. You know, pop spinning the wrenches on that machine. Here comes Koi Curtis. Gonna put another lap down there, Koi. Riding for TC Free Ride, Jet Pilot, Hydro Turf, Works Racing, CXD Helmets, Frederico Demolition. Pops, of course, spins the wrenches on that machine quite a bit. And there's Deacon Newton, riding for La Piazza Pizza, Scoot Newton Racing. Gibbs Repair, Buller Racing, Lakeside Door and Window. And Tom Valentino, he's behind him on the 95. Well, his girlfriend sponsored him. As we watch Deegan Newton head on to the back stretch. Boy, that uh, youngster has grown up quite a bit. Looks like Mike Yellich, the mauler, cooling down a little bit. Want to get his uh, two seconds of fame. Mike, of course, a Hall of Fame uh, jet skier. First guy to ever win a championship for Yamaha. Part of the Throttle Junkie News crew. I can't help you there. I cracked it. Have Dave up Valentino goes by, back up front. Coy Curtis, our leader. Man, he just gets down. Still a little guy. Keeps that center of gravity real low. That thing doesn't even know. It's like a flea riding on a horse. Sebastian, he used to be that uh, short. Now he's growing a little bit taller. But this is where all their skills are developed at this age, and you can just see. I mean, it looks like a pro right now out there when you watch Sebastian and Coy. They've learned from the best. Deegan Newton coming by the stripe again down the front straightaway. Here comes Todd Valentino on the 95. Looks like the Lake Havasu crew, all these guys, uh, do a lot of time at Body Beach, ride with all the top pros. Thank you. 
White flag is out. One lap to go for Corey Curtis. Gorella is going to come by again. Trying to chase down our leader, Coy Curtis. Third place, Deegan Newton on the number nine. He's going to see the white flag. Here comes Valentino. Across the stripe there, but uh, I can see her leader coming off the back stretch there. Coy Curtis. A left and a checkered flag across the line. So Quick Curtis is going to take the win here. Sebastian Garello come across in second. And Deegan Newton will round it out here in third here at motor number two and the overall. Race 16 on the line. Now it's time for Pro Am Ski GP. On the number 28, it's Cooper Sheck Snyder out of Hesperia, California. On the 44, Raphael Marin out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. 76, to be Jack Briscoe. Comes to us from Harriman, Utah. 202, Cole Kramer, former world champion out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And Ian Roberts from Sparks, Nevada on the 658. And the band snap off and running. See Briscoe on the outside to the inside. It's going to be Raphael Marin on the 44 machine with the hole shot. Ian Roberts in tow right behind him. Marin comes across the stripe first, followed by Roberts. And couldn't see that third position. We'll see if we can get a uh, shot of him coming around here. It's going to be Cole Kramer. Looks like Jack Briscoe behind him. Cooper Sheck Snyder in tow behind Briscoe. But it's Marin here. Get ready to put lap number one in the books here for him. Out front on his Commander Industries machine. Raphael riding, coming to us from France. Spending some time out in Lake Havasu doing some training. Ian Roberts from Sparks, Nevada on the Commander Industries. Risen Wild Fly Racing. The speed that they have is just incredible. Cole Kramer on the 202. Ride for mom and dad, Ricky T, KSH. Fuel Products, IPD Graphics, GC Racing, Jet Trim, and Powercraft. Great to see Ian Racing, I know Ian had some vehicle problems, and I believe a good friend of ours, uh, Brian out of Las Vegas, helped him out and got him to the races. So, very cool to see he was able to make it. Especially considering he's in a podium contention right now. Cole Kramer in control. Kramer trying to chase him down.
Oh, hitting a couple of holes there. Oh, big sub. Doesn't quite strip him off. He able to hold on. Boy, he got a face full on that one. Still able to hold on to that third position. Marin goes by, puts another stripe down here. Six laps make up the distance here in race 16. Cole Kramer, way off the side of the ski, trying to carry as much momentum, keeping that boat flat. Jack Briscoe sitting in fourth place there. Jack and the Herman, Utah, that commander, IPD. Jet pilot, Rhino Power, C4 Performance. And Cooper Sheck Snyder out of Spuria. Ride for mom and dad, IPD Graphics and Commander Industries. Marin, already by again. Don't blink, you might miss it. What a blistering speed. Oh no, Cole Kramer off the boat. And he's a ways back there. Sarge grabbing him. Gonna try and get him back over his boat. Well, sometimes it's wreckers or checkers. Today it was wreckers. That's gonna put him down a couple positions here as some riders get by him. Briscoe able to make the pass there. Looks like Cooper Sheck Snyder also. Kramer dives off. Gonna try and remount the boat there. Well, that could take some wind out of you for sure. And you can see with the current, just, you know, wanting to push them down river there. And one rider not having any problems whatsoever. Raphael Marin now out front. Rider out of France. So Briscoe and Cooper Sheck Snyder. There's Ian Roberts. Roberts gonna be in second position there. Briscoe now up to third. Cooper Sheck Snyder up to fourth. And here comes Cole Kramer. And Marin. That's our leader. He might be catching up. <laughs> Let's see how far he can lap these riders up here. Man, look at that dance, constantly moving. Everything happening at a blink of an eye at a blistering speed. There goes Cole Kramer. Trying to catch back up to some of the field. And here comes Moran. Roberts, that's our second place rider, just making it out of the back stretch. Where Moran already on the left side of the track. Man, and these other riders are fast. These machines at a blistering speed. It just shows the level that Rafael Moran, he's been training hard. A man on a mission. Jack Briscoe, Cooper Sheck Snyder, Cole Kramer. Marin clicks off another lap. I do uh, believe the laps have dwindled down here. We should see that white flag here pretty soon. I have not seen Marin Stand up. He has been in that crouch attack position the entire race. We we'll see some of the other riders standing up a little bit, stretching their backs out. And we're in around Kramer. Kramer's like, where did he come from? But I gotta say, when you go down, Kramer gotta be a little tired there. That takes a lot of your wind out of your sails. There's Moran again. Saw the blue flag with a yellow stripe. I believe this is an eight lapper. 
They had six on the board, but I believe with the uh, Pro-Am Ski Division GP, this is a eight lap. You can see Marin already there coming up on Cooper Sheck Snyder. And you can see Cooper's got the speed and the commander boats are so equal. It's just Marin's riding at 110% right now. He is not backing off. And uh, blue flag comes out again. Letting Cooper know the leader's coming up on you. Cooper's fo so focused on Jack Briscoe, though. Sheck Snyder on the back street. Here comes Marin. Marin riding a little bit of rough water, trying to stay out of that pump wash there. Want to keep those aerated bubbles out of your pump. You don't get that drive. It's like almost like driving an ice. There's the white flag. One more lap to go for Raphael Marin. He looks over and he goes, finally. He has so far lapped his way up and trying to battle with fourth place. Uh oh, a little bit of collision there. Briscoe have a little contact. It looked like, I do believe, with Cooper Sheck Snyder. Looks like both riders okay and still going. There's Kramer. Keeping it pinned. White flag for everybody else. But I see that red boat coming into sight here. That'll be a checkered flag coming out for Raphael Marin, and he knows it. Kind of gives it a little easy there, stands up, says, I got this one. Number one. So it's gonna be Raphael Marin, Ian Roberts. And we'll try and see who's gonna get there. It looks like Jack Briscoe comes across there. And we'll get them all figured out here in timing and scoring. There's Roberts. And there's Cooper Sheck Snyder comes across. Race 17, a runabout naturally aspirated limited. On number five, it's Renee Hill out of Lake County, Sioux City, Arizona. On the number 11, it's Sam Cap out of Lakewood, California. On the 21, Brandon Warner out of Lake County, Sioux City, Arizona. The triple twos of Jim Alamillo out of Palmdale, California. And the 661 of Juan Sada, he comes to us from Tehachapi, California. Tony Stone to back up just a little bit there. And there's the band snap off and running. It's going to be Brandon Warner who jumps out early. Renee Hill is going to be in that second slot right behind him. So Warner gets green flag and the whole shot. Renee Hill and Jim Alamillo. Sam Cap's gonna be there in fourth. And look at that, Jim Alamillo moving up in position there. See Juan Soto on the 661. But Warner screaming down that back section.
Warner on that 21 C do. Nephew of Craig Warner, multi world runabout champion. There's Renee Hill. She's got a women's world title. She always used to run the 22, but I see the number five on her boat now. A little change up there. And then Renee just uh, retired from teaching, formerly living in Riverside, California, now making her home in the PwC capital of the world, Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Very cool, her and her husband Jeff out there. I know Jeff does a lot of spinning wrenches for her. There's Jim Alamillo. On that old school XP C2. Things like a little go-kart in the water. Very cool boat. See Sand Cap right behind him on that old school Wave Raider. It's got the old uh, Mac McCluggage, Chris McCluggage uh, seat on it. So very cool. Good shot of Jim Alamillo. Jim comes to us from Palmdale, California on the Nickerson Performance, Hill Racing and Watercraft Direct. Sand Cap out of Lakewood, California, sponsored by his wallet. Great to see those old school boats out on the water still. Still pretty competitive too, I gotta say. Juan Soto and Ty and Toe behind him out of Tehachapi. As we see the 21 of Brandon Warner on the Lake Havasu City, Arizona resident, riding for Impros, Watusi Designs, Works H2O, Spy Optics, Impros, and OGO. Brandon Warner riding very smooth. Quite a few Warners have raced in the past. So it's very cool to see uh, another Warner out there. There's Renee Hill. Renee riding for Hill Racing, Riva Racing, Map Tuner X, 2 2 Performance, Cometic Gasket, Jet Trim, Jet Tribe, USA, Klotz Lubricants, Fly Racing, IPD Graphics, Weisco Works Racing, Bobber Eyewear, and ADA Racing. And our son Tyler Hill. Does a lot of racing himself, doing that P1 Aqua X. Sam Cap's gonna go by. There's Juan Soto. And here comes Brandon Warner, start lapping some of the field here. As we watch Jim Alamillo make his way around onto the back section there. Hit that little dog leg lift. Renee Hill right in front of him. And I see that white flag getting ready to come out here. I see Brandon Warner coming around. And there it is, white flag for Brandon Warner. Let's see if he can pass everybody here. He's pretty close. I know Renee Hill's not gonna let that happen. Renee onto the back section, Jim onto the back section. And there's Brandon Warner. He's now lapped up to 
getting ready to come up to third place here. Alamia, the man sitting in third. They're still going to get the white flag, but here comes the checkered flag and the win for Brandon Warner. <whistles> Fast one. Looks over his shoulder. Where did everybody go? So Renee Hill will end up second. Jim Alamillo will get that final spot on the podium. Pro Rider Watercraft Magazine, the premier print and digital publication for personal watercraft enthusiasts, delivers up-to-date content from manufacturers and aftermarket pioneers and features racing, recreational riding, PwC fishing, tech tips, youth highlights, product reviews, freestyle, and more. Whether an industry representative, recreational rider, competitor, or a weekend warrior, Pro Rider Watercraft Magazine offers fresh insight and what's happening in the most exciting water sport on the planet. Subscribe and follow for a Rider Watercraft Magazine on Instagram and Facebook. Ski Novice Lights on the line, race number 18 on the 003. It's gonna be Kirk Walker out of Glendale, Arizona. On the number 17, it's Joey Heron out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona, with the 51 of James Dean out of Laguna Niguel, California. Josh Simon, he'll be on the 125 out of Corona, California. 171 of Max Christian out of San Clemente, California. With the triple nickel there, the 555 of Maddox Haynes out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Parker Porter on the 646 out of Yorba Linda, California. 665 of Trevor Jessima out of San Clemente, California. Jeff Kochak. He's on the 824 out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona, and Nick Banghart on the 913 out of Phoenix, Arizona. And with the band snap and the whole shot there for the 125, that is Josh Simon. It looks like the 555 of Maddox Haynes at only Cavasu. He is going to be in second, but it is the 125 of Simon to jump out to the early lead. Top three riders and the rest of the field now coming by, getting that green flag as they head to the left side of the track. Our leader now making his way onto the back section. Looking a little rough there from the boat traffic. as he comes off to make his way into the split section there. You see the 555. Five, five. Uh oh, problems with the 125. Oh, the triple nickel getting a little close there. Josh Simon able to hold on to it. Maddox Haynes on the 555 five, five in second still. Looks like we saw the 171 in third, but we'll get a confirmation as he come by this next time around. And yeah, there's the 171. Couple of Super Jets out front, then a Kawasaki. There's the 003 of Kirk Walker. Josh Simon riding for Rivershore Motorsports Group. Triple fives there. Maddox Haynes riding for TC Free Ride, Works Racing. Jet trim. Maddox currently sitting in second place, trying to chase down Josh Simon. Simon on the all silver boat. Maddox on the white super jet. Simon across the line, knock another lap. There's the 824 machine there, that's Jeff Kopchak. Oh! Going down just a little bit, able to get back up, looks around, make sure nobody's coming there. 
Back up to Maddox Haynes. As he serpentines his way through the left side of the course. 824 there, Jeff, Jeff Kopchak. And it looks like he's now moved into third place. Something happened to the 171 there, Max Christian. There's the 003 again, Kirk Walker. And it looks like 646, six, Parker Porter. Cope check on the back straight. As our leader comes by one more time. Back up there to third place. He's trying to chase down the 555 of Maddox Haynes. And then I saw the 171 in the distance, so he must have had a problem. That's when Kopchak was able to get by him. And our leader having to contend with a little bit of lap traffic there. Gives him a wide berth. Again, this is the novice class. This is one of the introductory classes that they start moving up through the program. Some of the junior riders running the novices there. Some move on up to the pro-am classes. As we watch our leader, Josh Simon, knock another one down. Maddox Haynes there, the triple nickel. And there's Nick Banghart. I saw him go by on the 913. Cope check. Oh, no. High sided off to the left side of the ski. Gets over. He's able to remount it. Get back up. He gets the peace sign. Actually, two laps to go. Oh, look at this. We got some loud traffic there. Simon coming up. Cope check. Is the white flag going to come out this next time? Bye. And it is rough out there for these novice riders. Josh Simon and Maddox having a little bit easier time than some of the less experienced racers. There's the white flag. Oh, here we go. Little loud traffic there with the 003. Kirk Walker, he moves wide. Simon Haynes, one and two. That's the battle for the top position there. More lap traffic. This could get interesting. See James Dean in there, Joey Heron. Simon, oh no, off the ski. And there goes the triple nickel, Maddox Haynes, into the lead. Man, on the last lap, about a half a lap to go, and this happens. Haynes probably in amazement right there. You can see Simon back up. He's going to go to the outside, but that inside has been so quick. Checker flag is going to come out here. And Maddox Haynes is going to hold on here in Moto2. Take the win. Josh Simon will get second. And it looks like Jeff Kopchak, he'll end up in that third place here in motor number two.
Race 19 on the line here. Ski Women's Novice Lights on the 14th. McKenzie Sheck Snyder Oak Hills, California. On the number 16, Allison Lawler out of Upland, California. On the 24 is going to be Shani Seidenberg out of Huntington Beach, California. With the 34 is Zoe Chambers out of Lake Havasu City. 141 of Reese Geis out of Scottsdale, Arizona. Kerry Mulvey, she's going to come to us on the 218 out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And Sabrina Cook on the 327 out of Riverside, California. <laughs> And with the two card in the air, here getting ready for the band snap. You can see Shaney Seidenberg there on the outside. Geis on the inside. And it looks like it's gonna be Reese Geis here with the whole shot. She's coming around getting ready to make that right. Oh no, over the buoy and she subs it. And oh, contact. Oh, there's gotta be some fiberglass damage there. Going to see right now if anybody's going to get red flag. It looks like everybody's up and running again here. So Mackenzie Sheck Snyder will actually get the whole shot. Clary Mulvey going to come across there in second. So it's the Kawasaki. Aaron, look at this. Mulvey already challenging. She backs off there for Sheck Snyder. Didn't want another collision. She already saw enough of that. She avoided it and wants to stay clean. You got to think about the big picture here. So it's Kerry Mulvey in second. Mackenzie Sheck Snyder gets the whole shot recorded. See them all making a cross there. Looks like everybody's okay. No one got hurt. That's the important thing. But I guarantee there might be a little visit to the fiberglass doctor when they're done. And there's Reese Geis. Already making her way up to third place. Mackenzie Sheck Snyder still out front. The sister of Cooper Sheck Snyder, Carrie Mulvey. Mother and wife out there racing, very cool. But good on McKenzie with the whole shot and the lead. Mulvey, here comes Geis. Still trying to shake that water off there. Sabrina Cook on the 327 sitting in fourth place. So McKenzie riding for him and Marine. Mulvey riding for Whole Oak Race Products and Tom Ski Jet Trim. Followed in third place again is going to be Reese Geis riding for Scottsdale Cycle Center. Dad, Troy Lee Designs, Ultimate Watercraft Performance, Jet Pilot, Jet Trim. Impros, ODI, VP Race Fuels, Riva, TC Free Ride. As we watch Sabrina Cook going down that back straightaway, it is rough. You got to time those little swells that are coming in there. You're fighting the current, the boke wakes, cross wakes, craziness. But it's Sheck Snyder out front still, Mulvey in second. Geis trying to fight her way back up to the top. She had that whole shot till over the buoy. And I'm not sure what the call is gonna be. Oh, Sabrina Cook having some problems there. They're up and running again. But that takes a lot out of you. And I'm not sure since you went over the top of the buoy on the start what the official call will be. Way above my pay grade. We see Sabrina Cook. There's Mackenzie Sheck Snyder out front, down the back section. Get ready for that right hander. Kerry Mulvey still on second, but Reese Geis trying to reel them both in. Mackenzie riding very smooth there. Mulvey and Geis, the top three. Mackenzie, of course, on the 14. Kerry Mulvey on the number 218. Reese Geis on the 141. Try and get some reads on some other riders as they come by here shortly. As we watch Mulvey down the back section in that dog leg left.
It looked like that was a 34. I saw Zoe Chambers there go by. We watched Geis in third. Two laps to go is a sign from the tower. Still Sheck Snyder, Mulvey, Geis. Next time around, the white flag will be coming out. One lap to go. Sheck Snyder on the back section. Guys, oh, guys. Oh, man. There's the 34, Zoe Chambers. Man, a rough way to finish moto number two there with guys going down. Uh, next time by, here's the white flag for our leader, Kenzie Sheck Snyder. Zoe Chambers out of Lake Havasu in that Go Fast Racing mom and dad sponsored boat. Now we got Allison Lawler out there also in the 16 out of Upland. The daughter of Steve Lawler, former team manager for Yamaha in the watercraft program. You now he worked for BRP for quite a few years. Great to see them out here and passing the torch also. But with a white flag, Mackenzie Sheck Snyder looking to do this one on the top spot. There's Mulvey in second, making a final push here. Quarter of a lap to go. And checker flag comes out. Mackenzie Sheck Snyder takes the win here in moto number two. Saw the 16 there, Allison Lawler. And Kerry Mulvey in second. And it looks to be Sabrina Cook. Comes in third. There's Shaney Seidenberg. There's Allison Lawler. Very cool looking black super jet. So it's gonna be Mackenzie Sheck Snyder takes the win here in Moto2. Race 20 on the line, Ski Master Stock, 1500. On the number 20, it's Eric Swick. Eric comes to us out of San Diego, California. Dan Fitzgerald out of Silmar on the 118. And Dave Zaperian out of Tucson, Arizona on the 508. And there's the band snap off and running. Looks like Fitzgerald with the inside is gonna get the whole shot. Zaperian right behind him. Was Swick in third place. Oh, Swick having problems. Rolls over to the right. Able to stay on the ski, though. But it's going to be Dan Fitzgerald. On the 118. On the Jet World Power Sports Machine. Out front. So it's Fitzgerald, followed by Superion and Swick. So Fitzgerald down the back section there. Superion in tow. Swick sitting in third. Fitzgerald on that Jet World machine. Zaperian on the Go Fast US Destination Hydration and Swick sponsored by his wallet.
Swick back up to speed here, trying to catch up now to Superior. Fitzgerald still leading. And oh no, looks like Swick goes down again for the second time. Not used to seeing Eric do that. Must be a little tired here. Day number two, second moto. Sometimes it could uh, take a toll on you. Well, we saw the sign from the tower earlier. Two laps to go. White flag will be coming out for Fitzgerald as Superior continues to try and chase him down. He swaps to the outside split here, trying to make up some ground. Fitzgerald off the inside. There's the white flag. Superior in charge mode. Look at this. Starting to creep up on his back tray here. But Fitzgerald, he is a crafty veteran out there. Oh, a little bit of problem with Superior. He got caught up in the wake. Slowed down a little bit. Looks like he almost dropped to his knees, or he did for a second. Swick back up and running. He's been down twice, but look at him fight his way back up, getting close to Superior. Fitzgerald on the back stretch. And that dog leg left. Setting up for that right turn here. And you can see Fitzgerald, a little bit of an old schooler, not so much on the switching feet there. You can see him trying to drop the hand to pull down. There, slightly moves his feet there, but uh, sets it up. But with this one turn, the checkered flag comes out. And Dan Fitzgerald out of Silmar, California, on that Jet World Power Sports machine, takes the win. Superior on the Go Fast US Destination Hydration in second. And Eric Swick and his wallet out of San Diego come across in third. Campbell from Lake Havasu City. I am here at Parker at the La Paz Campground. We're enjoying the racing today. The hitch hauler is very easy to install. It takes just a few seconds. I spend a lot of time loading and unloading my stuff by myself, and it works out just great. I have a rolling rack that goes right up to it, and I don't have to ask anybody for help, so I get to keep all my friends like that. The hitch hauler is very versatile. Got a receiver on the back where I can hook up my regular jet ski trailer, and so now I can carry around three skis on my trailer, one on the hauler, and a, one or two in the back of my truck, but I guess I gotta buy another jet ski. Huh? It's time for Race 21, Vintage X2 stock on the 54 is Ryan Kennedy out of Cypress, California. On the 155, Jason Trist out of Escobedo, California. 313 of Dennis Potenga out of Lake Havasu. 420 of Craig Campbell out of Marietta, California. Part-time resident of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And the 572 of Jeremy Potenga out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Here we go, you can see the two card is in the air, getting ready for that band snap. Robbie's down there. You see it go one, and Robbie's quick on the band. You see the 572, Jeremy Potenga on the outside section there. Trist to the inside. Who's going to get the whole shot here? And it's going to be Trist with that number one spot. Oh, no, Trist loses balance off to the right. That's going to change everything there. The 54 of Ryan Kennedy is going to go into the lead. Seeing Camel goes right behind him. But it's going to be the 54 of Ryan Kennedy with the whole shot. Campbell's going to move up into second. We got Dennis Patanga out there and Jeremy Patanga also trying to fight for it. Trist, after going down, trying to fight his way back up through the crowd. But it's going to be Kennedy and Campbell, one, two. 
as they head on to the back section. Again, this is the Vintage X2 stock category. Stock 650 motors. Down the back stretch. Good shot of Kennedy as he comes around there on the 54 machine out of Cypress, California. Riding for Pro Watercraft. Ski Parts Unlimited. Craig Campbell riding for himself. <laughs> Live Easy Hitch Hauler also. Well, you can see those Pro Watercraft sponsors on those machines and what a difference they make. Really changes the characteristics of handling and makes it more of a pleasure to race and ride. It's great for the racer, great for the wreck rider. Oh, look at this. Campbell trying to catch up to the 54 of Kennedy. Okay, got a good little run there. Stretch out the lead a little bit. You can see third place now trying to move up onto the 420 machine there of Campbell. Matanga sitting in third. Kennedy comes across the stripe, knocks another one down there. Campbell as well. Got to love the weather out here right now. It's absolutely beautiful. La Paz County Park. Parker, Arizona. On the beautiful Colorado River. Watching Craig Campbell. Says my paperwork 420 on there, but I see the, just the 42 on his ski. Kennedy, Campbell. And we'll see, you're gonna get a re check there. Look at that, it's a tryst up into third now. Jason Trist making a nice recovery after going down earlier. Now holding on to that third spot. Jason Trist out of Escondido, California on the ADD Racing. Solution Sir, PGS Pro Jet Sports, Grateful Water, San Diego Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, IPD Graphics, and Joe Holler. Watching him down the back stretch there, hitting that dog leg left. Just ever so, like a kidney bean, just like a slight left turn. Just enough to change the attitude and hit a wake wrong. Top three now on the right side of the track. You got Dennis Potanga and Jeremy Potanga back there battling for fourth position. As we watch our leader, Ryan Kennedy, on the 54. These are classified as sport boats. Technically, it could be a two seater. Watching Campbell, trying to run down Kennedy still. Trist, looking for redemption after having that whole shot for a, a split second and going down, but nice recovery. Tango boys fighting it behind him. 
And there's the checkered flags going to come out. And it's going to be Ryan Kennedy takes the win. Craig Campbell comes across in second. And Jason Trist here in moto number two. One of the best cost-effective ways to get into jet skiing is to simply get a Kawasaki 550 or 440. A great way to make it better and a little more rideable is stuff like our rear sponson, our front sponson, and a ride plate. You can even style it up with one of our handle poles or even the hood. This is just a great cost-effective way to enjoy jet skiing. Race 22, it's vintage 650, 750 time, bringing the old schoolers out here. On the number four, it's gonna be sand capped out of Lakewood, California. On the 17, Joey Heron out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. On the 44, Jake Hankins out of Phoenix, Arizona. 158 of Arbella West out of Temecula, California. 300 is gonna be Paul Shaw out of Menifee, California. 358, Ella Hobson out of Carlsbad, California. Yucca, Arizona's 428 will be Joe Ochoa. And the 741 of Kevin Puncialbi out of Parker, Colorado. And off and running there. And it looks like Ochoa on the 428 out of Yucca, Arizona is going to get the whole shot. Concialdi going to be in second. Saw a rider down there back in the distance there as they come around Ochoa with the whole shot here. 741. Concialdi in second. As our riders move to the left side of the track here. Ochoa is still out front. Cancialdi in that second position. Looks like Sam Cap back there on that old Yamaha Super Jet there. Square nose. Trying to see some other riders they come by there. We got Super Jets. We've got Kawasaki 750s. It's an older round nose Super Jet there. Amazing they're calling that vintage because that's still a very competitive ski as we saw in earlier motos today. But Ochoa is still out front. Ochoa on the 428. Rider Bad Shelton and Hillbilly Mobile. Kenzie Aldi riding for Rocky Mountain Boat Company. Romo Boco, Paul King Resorts. He's riding the 741. And look at this, we have a new leader. The 741 of Kevin Concialdi moves into the front position there with the 428 of Joe Ochoa moves into second. Sam Cap still holding on to that third position there on the number four. Trying to get a read on the rest of the field out there. There they are. The old 750 going by there, and the riders really fighting the handling on them. One word pro watercraft is all I got to say. Get some front sponsons, rear sponsons, really makes a difference.
Kozialdi goes by Achoa, trying to battle now with the four of Sam Cap. Cap, oh no, Cap goes down. He had a good run on that one. Good old Protec race boat there. Very cool to see. As they make their way to the left side, Cap back up and running again. Watching Ochoa on the back stretch. There's our leader, leader once again, the 741, Kevin Concialdi out of Parker, Colorado. Rocky Mountain Boat Company, Romo Boco and Paul King Resorts. Ochoa. The old Cowie 650 there and then the old Superjet Square Nose. They ran those up to 94, 95, 95, and then of course the round nose came out after that. Little lap traffic there. You can see the 358 Ella Hobson out of Carlsbad, California. Well, what I'm noticing is he looks like he's got some water bypasses flowing out on the handlebars there and I know a lot of guys do that for the cold water riding and of course him coming from Colorado I wouldn't doubt he has that set up on it white flag is out Concialdi is still out front Achoa in second Sam Cap sitting in third Ella Hobson goes by there in the 358. Very cool to see a lot of these vintage skis out here loving this. And it looks like uh, we've got uh, Arbella West on the 158 there at Temecula. Jake Hankins on the 44 there on the blue super jet. Not seeing, I believe Paul Jean had some problems after motor number one. On his number 300, I knew he was that uh, square nose. Not seeing it out there. Rider going down. Our leader comes by. Oh, that was the 44 there of Hankins. And there it is, the 741. Sees the checkered flag. Takes a win. Saw Jerry Heron on the 17 as he comes around. He'll be a lap down, but uh, checkered flag's out. That's going to finish it up here. Achoa is going to come across in second. Sam Cap going to wrap up that third spot here in one of two. Race 23, Sport GP on the 21, Brandon Warner out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. On the 99, it's going to be Hunter Dunn out of Harriman, Utah. And the 169 of Ronnie Parker out of Reno, Nevada. Race 24, Sport GP on the 21, Brandon Warner out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. On the 99, it's going to be Hunter Dunn out of Harriman, Utah. And the 169 of Ronnie Parker out of Reno, Nevada. looks down the line here. And off and running. Two Yamahas against the Sea Dew of Brandon Warner. Warner's going to hit the whole shot there. Warner on the 21. Hunter Dunn on the 99. And the 169, a Ronnie Parker. Dunn goes to the inside. Warner to the outside and the whole shot and the green flag. Warner on the gas on his CDU HX. Hunter Dunn on that Yamaha Wave Blaster. And Ronnie Parker also having a Yamaha Wave Blaster. 
Brandon Warner writing for Impros, Watusi Designs, Works H2O, Spy Optics, Impros, and OGO. Hunter Dunn's on that mom and dad backed fly racing, jet trim, jet pilot, fly racing, JC Racing, High Speed Industries. He must love fly racing. He listed them twice. Ronnie Parker rides for the Rhino Hub and girlsdad.com. And Warner goes by one more time, still holding on to the lead. Followed by Hunter Dunn, trying to get her done. Warner still out front as we watch Hunter Dunn. There's Brandon Warner. You can see he's got a seat, but you know, down that back straightaway, using those legs to move the boat up and down and kind of counteract it to keep it hooked up. Sits down the corners, lets the shock do the work there. There's a shock in that seat. So Brandon Warner comes by. Looks like the white flag came out. One lap to go. Hunter Dunn's gonna see that white flag himself. And Ronnie to Parker will be in tow. Warner getting ready to go on to the back stretch. Grabbing a fistful there. Actually hooking up real good. You can see him. All right, there we go. Get a little busy, a little bumpy. That's why Hunter Dunn's not sitting down. Kind of able if the boat pops up and push it down. But hey, checker flag comes out. Brandon Warner takes the win. Hunter Dunn's going to come across in second as he gets ready to make this right turn. And Ronnie Parker will end up third here in Moto2. town known as Surf City, but when we come to town, it becomes Moto Surf City, where the horsepower meets the surf. This is the Hot Products Huntington Beach Moto Surf and M Pros Free Ride, featuring a multitude of categories, including Pro GP, Pro Free Ride, Pro Am Runabout GP, including amateurs, vintage classes, and the junior racers. Come on down and witness from the pier some of the hottest racing action on the water. Sanctioned by the IGSBA, are you ready for this epic Power Sports annual event, Moto Surf and Free Ride? Including a live stream broadcast, all the great action where closed course racers and free riders unite. Don't miss out. Come on down and join the action. Register today at RPM Racing Enterprises. That's www.rpmracingent.com. Get involved. Time for race number 24 here on the number 24. It's going to be Shaney Seidenberg out of Huntington Beach, California. On the 141, Reese Geis coming to us from Scottsdale, Arizona. And the 831 of Ariana Thayer out of Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Two card in the air, getting ready for the band snap. And it looks to be Reese Geis on the 141 with a whole shot. Ariana Thayer right behind her on the 831, followed by the 24 of Shaney Seidenberg. On a side note, fortunately to an earlier injury, River Varner, who was scheduled to be in this race, not able to make it, but uh, sounds like she's going to be okay and everything good. No, she really wanted to race with these other ladies out here. But it's Reese Geis out front. 
Ariana Thayer in second. And in third is going to be Shane Seidenberg. Reese riding for Scottsdale Cycle Center. Dad, Troy Lee Designs. Ultimate Watercraft Performance. Jet Pilot. As well as M Pros, ODI, VP Race Fuels. As we watch him go down there, we're watching Ariana Thayer right now. Noah, she rides for the Boat Brokers. As well as. Liquid Molly, Jet Trim, BP Concepts, One Finger, Hydra Stars, and Red Rocks. And then Shaney Seidenberg sitting in that third position here. She rides for Jet Tribe, Jet Trim, IPD Graphics, River Rat Motorsports, and Fly Racing. But it's Reese Geis on the Scottsdale Cycle Center. Dad Trailer Design Machine, Ultimate Watercraft Performance, and Brian Boyle doing some spin and some wrenches on that ski, and you can see it's hooked up. She goes down the back straight away. Ariana Thayer in tow. And in third again, Shaney Seidenberg. There's Shani Seidenberg going by. I know our leader, Reese Geis, on the 141. She saw that two laps to go. So this time by, she will see that white flag. Looks like Shani getting a little tired there, getting that use that new commander ski. Here comes our leader, Reese Geis, on the 141. The white flag flies for her. Ariana Thayer grabbing a fistful as she comes down, trying to catch our leader. She's actually on the factory style SXR 1500, trying to chase after one of those aftermarket commander skis, doing really well, I gotta say, on that. There's Shaney Seidenberg. But here comes our leader, Reese Geis. Putting the hammer down. Shaney Seidenberg will get in the white flag this time by for her herself. As the checker gets ready to come out for the 141, taking the final moto here, Reese Geis out of Scottsdale, Arizona. Scottsdale Cycle Center, Dad Trailer Designs, Ultimate Watercraft Performance, Jet Pilot, Jet Trim, Impros, ODI, VP Race Fuels, Riva, TC Freeride, AP Graphics, 100%. And then, of course, that's Ariana Thayer on the 831 is going to come across in second on that GoFast US and Boat Brokers, followed by Shaney Seidenberg to finish out here moto number two, the final moto. Well, that's going to complete here round number two of the Hydro Turf Best in the West series presented by Hot Products. It's been a great two days of racing. Big thanks to r, &R Productions for making this video happen, as well as Ross Wallach at RPM Racing Enterprises, our production sponsors like Easy Hitch Holler and Throttle Junkie News, as well as Dirt Sports World. It's the Nedra Atwood Memorial Race. Myself, Dave Arnold, we'll see you next time on The Water.